All right, here's my Briggs & Stratton generator. Uh, model number is a 115432. Uh, it's from 1996. It's missing a, a air filter and cover. I need to change the filter. Uh, basically give it a service, change the plug, uh, and maybe quiet it down because the exhaust is pretty roached out. And I'll play it before, and then I've got a plan to do that after. Uh, the service parts uh, that I'm gonna be using today are from a company called uh, HIPAA. Uh, they sent me some service parts they want me to try out. I'll leave some uh, part numbers below and let you know how it goes. Alright, I'm going to start that thing up. You guys can hear me. Hopefully it starts. Choke it. As you can see it runs but it's really really loud so uh, I'm going to try to change uh, that exhaust with a silencer or two and some adapters uh, that I got so some galvanized pipe I'll have to take that off do some welding I'm thinking maybe something kind of like that maybe add a couple or a bend or a 90 something to quiet that down anything's better than this so let's get to that all right the air filter I'm using today comes from HIPAA Came with a pre-filter, and there's the part number, 1408319S, all right? And that is a little bit smaller than the air filter that I needed, but it did come with that pre-filter, which I kind of liked, and I'm going to uh, modify this air box to make oops, this fit with the pre-filter, and then put a cover on there where I can utilize these bolts. Now, it probably won't be pretty, but uh, these are the kinds of things you have to do when uh, parts are hard to find on these late model stuff. I'm going to drain this gas first. I'm going to take it right out of the line that goes to the carburetor. It goes down and around to, it looks like here. And that's some nasty fuel. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's pretty gross. Starting to clear up. The filter had a bunch of garbage in it. I'm gonna try to shine a light in here so you guys can see. Now, there is a little bit down there at the rim. I don't know if I can get that on. There's a little bit in there. Now, that could evaporate off, but I'm gonna take a towel in there. I'm actually gonna wipe uh, that fuel out of there. I don't know if you can even see it, but it's in there. I'm gonna wipe that out so I can get this tank as dry as I can. Then I'll change that filter. got this one and there is an arrow that shows you the flow so this one's going this way it should pull from the tank down here into the uh, chamber and then it's filtered through and then it comes out that's how most of them are designed but check your arrow check your manufacturer hopefully this one comes off it should Direct replacement fit. I believe there's some clamps that were supplied too. So I'll grab those, see if they fit. Okay, so I'll take this one off here. See if it'll fit the fuel line. Sometimes I get lucky, sometimes I don't. 
Let's see if this fits. And it looks like it fits. Put that on there. We'll push this as far up as we can. We don't want no leaks, no problems. Right. Okay. And then we've got this one. Goes on top. This side of the filter. Accessible so we can get to it later, right? Put it on the outside here. And then I like this one not uh, clamped on. Just in case I need to release it from the carburetor or shut it down somehow. I like that being an option. That can remove that. So that's your fuel filter. I'm uh, still working on my air filter. Right now I just have this uh, other blower housing acting as a shield. Right. Uh, I got my plug. Got the change out. Plug is a uh, use Champion RC12YC. And that's a 5 8 Be in there that tight. You also look at the uh, condition of our plug. All right, plug's had a little bit of brown and a little bit of soot, so I think it was a tad bit rich, or maybe it was some old fuel. It wasn't burning. Like I said, this sat in the uh, rain for a couple days while I was camping, so uh, maybe there was some water in there. And we've got the new plug. Make sure the gaps match. This one's kind of wore away. Let's get it started by hand first. Strip it. back on there. Spark plug. Maybe. Maybe it'll let me, maybe it won't. Let's go. This is crooked. Maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> All that's left is the uh, exhaust modification and a cover for this, and to hear it run. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is remove uh, this exhaust, and then I'm going to get crazy with the welder and try to fabricate uh, this silencer out here, because this one is completely broached. So first things first, let's find out what size that is. Take it to 13. I don't know if you can tell, but it was actually uh, cracked around this weld here. I'm actually going to lop this off and then uh, try to attach this flange to uh, my new muffler. So I'm going to move this generator and get to work on that.
All right, here's the uh, exhaust. Uh, I welded it all together uh, underneath this, and then I added uh, JB Weld to kind of seal it. I'll sand that down, and I'll paint it uh, all high temp black. Uh, but I want to see how it sounds. Like, this is just an experiment, because that other one is uh, rattling around, and it's very loud. So uh, we'll see how this is. Uh, if it's not quite enough, then I will add another end here to this baffle, and I will add another one of these. So uh, let's hook that up and see how it sounds. All right, there should still be some uh, gas in the carburetor. So uh, let's see how this runs and how it sounds. I want to thank HIPAA for sending me the uh, service parts for this generator. It does appear the uh, new silencer did quiet down the exhaust quite a bit. Um, it did change uh, the tone of the exhaust and got rid of that rattle. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with that. And that concludes my video. Thanks for watching.